So I'm basically just going to be commentating over my gameplay as I play today. I'm just giving you guys my rundown of how I think you should play and whatnot. So... I always, whenever I pick these starting hexes, I always just choose something net neutral that I don't have to think too hard about what I'm going to be doing. Like, this one would be fine, this one would be fine. This one's fine if you want to go, like, mutants, right, for the Baron. You kind of want to get it out early. Yeah, this is the one I don't want to deal with. Let me just change up the settings here for you guys. So for sound. All right. Okay, so maybe we have a little bit of a Yordle's angle opening up here. We're gonna try something spicy. Or is it just a free strategist game where I don't have to think as much? That might be it, right? Okay, it actually just might be shredded just off the rip here, because we already got, we already got this, it caps out at four, we already got two of them. What is it? You want to sell, you want to sell Tristana, she kind of sucks, unless you are going full reroll, and if you are going full reroll and you're not rocking the least in Legend, you're just trolling yourself. So there's no point in like playing it. All right. So we got a shroud here so far. It's not the best. I mean, we're not gonna not play it though, right? So we also could get Shirima. Get some more hexes cooking there. We really gonna want frontline because we got the combat coming up here pretty soon and we're pretty broke. Getting this upgrade is a lot of gold. This is a six gold unit this early into the game, so kind of like digging our own hole here. Mm. You can take this, guys. I don't, first time you filled at least four distinct units of the same trade, gain the, I don't think this is that good when we have the Ionia, but I mean, you can take it if you want. I'm just gonna refresh it. Long Distance Pals is always good. Cybernetic Bulk, eh. I'm always just gonna take Portable Forge here. Hmm. Oh, I almost just made a big mistake. So since Cho'Gath is our only frontline, Gargoyles here isn't that bad. We see since Cho'Gath is the only frontline unit, how much armor and magic resist he's getting right now. It's quite a bit. Timo ain't playing that shit, dude. Worst comes to worst, we can always just, uh... Will feel pain never What's going on over here, bro? No, not here. What's going on over here? Okay. A lot of people are holding some good pairs. I think we're always going to just keep in the multicaster over putting in the Renekton. And since we know we want Brawler anyways, we're just going to sell the poppies here. I really haven't had too much experience with this item before though. I just know it's better than the other one that we got. The ranged bow would have been good for a Zir, but you gotta think about like the immediate spike. What am I gonna get more value out uh, from throughout the game? This Teemo with this, 
Or that one item I'm sitting on the whole game that's just not going to be the best for me. So we know we want this. We know we want this. Holding on to the Teemo would be good. But we need to keep gold interest, right? We can do something like this. That way we know we're getting maximum value off the uh, Gargoyle. So everything uh, targets us going all the way around the board. There's some strong players here. The big thing is this guy's got the Callista, and he's level 5 on 3-2. You usually don't hit level 5 until 2-5. So this guy power level to be able to try to keep preserve his streak, right? So the more you know. And we might win this here. So now this guy is hella mad. Look at him. He sold. He sold some stuff to make the gold interest. Something to think about, guys. <clears throat> some people, like, level on off off intervals to be able to preserve streaks and things like that. It's not always the best thing to do, though, right? So what can we do here? Well, right now, we know we got a Krug glove. We can always make a Thieves gloves. That's not a bad thing. Or we can look for a specific unit that we might want. Teemo, picking up a Teemo wouldn't be bad, but I really don't care about that. Kind of want to have this big old cutie item right here on this big bad man. Um, the big thing you can do is if you know you're not going to get it going off the carousel, you can kind of debate going for one item and go grab another. So we're going to level up here on 2-5, and we're going to put in Swain and put the Thieves' Gloves on him, because Swain is a unit and a half until... Now we kind of got this shop, and now I don't want to do it. Um, now do I just Thieves Gloves the action? Hmm. That's a tough one, man. Oh, we should have did it before then. I think we always put in the action, just because this unit always goes one for one. And this unit always kills, like, such a big chunk of the board, right? We're going to just sell one of these to make gold interest. And then we're just going to keep on t keep these. I think it's fine slam that these glows on him, because on the final Shurima board, we're going to not have him probably out onto the board, because we're going the full strategist, right? So we're going to want to have the Lux, because she gains a whole lot more... From the strategist AP in the back row than he ever would, right? Just something to think about. The world may fall to darkness, mm. but Noxus will remain. Edge of Night, dude. No. Oh, this is this is a really strong board. If I, I what I should do is I should sell the action here, sell the Cassiopeia, make twenty gold, slam the swine out onto the board with the thieves gloves. That's what I should do, but I'm not going to. That's what you should do, though. I, I auto lose to this guy. This guy just got a lot of value going on over here. Dude, Teemo don't play that shit, dude. Teemo's on that thug life. Alright. So slowly, we're getting the band back together here. What is our game plan? We're gonna go level 6 on 3-2. We got a little bit of a win streak going here, which is muy bueno. Right? And then, positioning ain't gonna change up too much. I always feel like I kind of default towards playing Shreema lately, because nobody else plays it. But I mean, take the freelo where you can get the freelo, boys. Everybody else is rocking the Dead Eyes or the Ionia Challengers and stuff. This world is frayed and in need of mending. So we're sitting on a couple pairs here, which isn't good. Now. 
20 gold. Hmm. We can do it to try to preserve the shriek here, right? Just something to think about. We can always sell the Garen here if we don't hit. But we are sitting on three pairs. Because if we win this combat here, then we gain 20. And we get, we're able to keep it. We go to like a six streak, right? So this was like a good level up to keep tempo. Although he has 50 gold interest, we have 50 gold interest too. So we got two from the 20, three from the five streak. So we're, we're banking, we're making the same amount of gold as this dude, and we have like 38 more HP on him. So what are we going for? We're never going for this. Okay, well. That kind of sucks. Because we're, eventually we're going to get this Ionia emblem, right? We're just going to take this for right now. Oh, my God. Three. We're never gonna hold on to the double Teemo here. We lose to this. That's nice. Cute little J4. Homie's just finding out the woodwork like it's nothing. And now when I go to do this, J4 is going to jump on my whole team and everybody's going to die. Yep. We'll sell the Garen for right now. Who are we fighting this, this little dude? We'll sell the Garen for right now, because he'll come back to us. As we find the Lux, we're going to want to put this Deathfire Grasp on it as soon as we can, right? Could probably grab the Urga here, maybe. No, oh, we're gonna lose this one though. I don't know, maybe we'll lose this fight. Timo's putting in a whole lot more work than I thought he would. I didn't expect this much damage coming out of my boy. So whatever items will be good on Lux, we can build on Teemo here. And what do we think's good? Well, with this tier, we can build blue buff. We know blue buff's good on her. Spear of Sojin, that's another. Archangels is kind of mid. You really just kind of want her to keep casting. We could grab the J4 for the static, Shirima for the Zir. What else are we looking for here? I mean, we're never going to get the four costs, so we're like last in the pick order. You got to start thinking about what you want here, right? Probably do not want a tank item here. Although that's what we're gonna be left with, so sad, sad times for us. You wanna choose health, because health is a net neutral item. You can make redemption, you can make anti-heal. We don't want to really choose more resistances because this is like a full resistance item. I think we're just going to do a little bit of rolling here.
We're in kind of a good spot here. Really need to find the Renekton upgrade. That's a big one. Then we need to find J4. So Renekton upgrade goes out onto the board. And eh, we don't really need Renekton, right? So we could... This could become Nasus, J4. Hmm. I don't know what the answer is. Oh, this guy rolled down to zero gold and hit uh, Belveth on seven. So that's cute. That never happens for me, but... Glad somebody else gets to live the dream a little bit. So my win streak here goes down to zero gold. Level seven player. That's nice. You could type a mean comment like nice one percent here if you want to. I'm not going to. That's okay. We we found another Azir. We're only sitting on three pairs, so that's nothing really. Okay. What to do from here? Know what to do. So, BF Sword and this go probably the best together for Big Boy Azir. Hodge isn't too bad of a next go to. We don't have any anti heal because we don't have Cassiopeia in the comp. So, this is like good for like this. Just slide it over because the chalice for right now, right? Witness the strength of Noxus. So all we're doing now is we're econing up so we can go to level 8, find J4, and then replace the Cho'Gath with that, replace the Renekton with Nasus, and then looking for Lux. The biggest issue with this comp is that it's just a super expensive comp. Never playing this. We could actually rock this. This wouldn't be the worst here. Cybernetic Bulk. Because we have the Thieves' Gloves, right? And we also have the Emblem. It wouldn't be the worst. Um. This is tough, man. We'll just go with this. It's a lot of tank. We, we should have probably went with the Orn item, because maybe we could have got an Azir item, right? Something to think about. But I feel like we'll just kill more of the board with Cybernetic. I feel like we already got a ton of damage with the Strategist. So I think this guy's trying to cash out on me here, because he's like level 7 zero gold. I think that was a cybernetic bulk difference right there. So that's good. And at this point, you know, the game's kind of playing itself a little bit. Four or five is usually the interval that you're going to want to be going level eight if you are going to be going that route, right? The biggest thing left to do now is we really have to try to finish an Azir item for him here today. Get in the J4. Positioning really ain't going to change up too much, right? The biggest thing is... You can change the positioning in terms of, like... Where you want to have... Your action to ulti. Because he's always going to ulti, like, opposite. But the thing you'll realize is always just having... A, um, yeah, what is this? 
Always having this guy tucked to bottom right is like always just the best. I think we'd hard to lose this. Yeah, we got like okay DPS, but we need a lot of ramp to get through this Ionia stuff. It's okay. We're, we're, we're pretty healthy, right? Now, if we get Cassante with this bow, that's really good. Heimerdinger is super good too here. Okay, we're getting nothing out here in these streets. That's wonderful. Now, I feel like we lose... Eh, with Cybernetic Bulk, it's not too bad, right? How much HP we would be losing. The Mafia must lead by example. So, this could be 6. This could be 7. Um... So, something like this. And do we just sell the Lux here? I, th I know we're always gonna lose to this guy, but it just it's really good if we just kill a good chunk of the board. We'd have to get like Rage Blade or something like that to be able to beat this dude. Or like Nasus 2, Azir 2. We're gonna, we're gonna need a lot of things to come together here for us here today. Like what is, this is, let me, oh, 43 HP, that's nice. Might be able to hit an upgrade here. Yeah, that's a big upgrade. Still sitting on three pairs. I wonder if the correct decision here is to, hmm. Getting five strategists out there would be really nice. I don't think it's going to matter that much, though. Because I'm trying to think about, like, the best max cap version of this board, because having Renekton kind of sucks. Especially, like, a tier one Renekton. It's not just doing a whole lot. Still not a single J4. I'm assuming it's because other people are holding him in the lobby. This guy is three, or unless he has some on the bench. This guy might just be a better variation on my board. I don't know. Although I think we spent all of our gold way too fast into this game. We could we could probably still go level nine. Which is what we should do. We should just go nine here. That's a tough one. Do something like this. Make static, make redemption. Put this on Renekton so Homeboy actually gets a little thick. Wait for these pairs to naturally come in. Go 9, put out J4 and call it a day. And be able to like look for Cassante too. That might be what we do here today.
It seems like Cybernetica isn't that bad, dude. Oh, well, I'm assuming it's because I have, like, a pretty good setup here going for me right now. Especially with four strategists. Oh, this is a tough one, is how long do you... Because we're sitting on, like, I'm starting to sit on, you know, more pears than a pear tree. And now we're starting to get, like, Scion, too, as well. And we also got the... NASA, or Scion. I, I don't know, I think it actually might be proper here to sell the Cassante sell the action, put the cyan out there with like the bruiser and go for like J4 and like something else, I don't know. Seems like seven stream of those pretty strong here, so I don't know. All I'm gonna say is Azir's Azir's salary, bro. This is guy. This guy's not getting paid by the hour right now on this team. Somebody's putting in work. Doesn't help that this guy's like holding all my stuff the whole game. This guy's very strong, especially like the Heimerdinger. I just don't know. Oh, he's going for like Echo Three. This is like a really old build, though, dude. This like fell way out of favor, hella quick. At least our stuff seems to be on the correct side, unless J4 does like some Brooklyn ulti over here. Oh, dude, Azir, you're letting me down, bro. Never mind. Zero goes hard for the squad. There's no point for me really to roll my gold until I guess J-Man dies in this lobby. And then we should be able to go, you know, from here. Strategist emblems here are really good because that allows me to be able to get five strategists out onto the board. And then still rock the Scion for the Bruiser for my whole team. So we don't necessarily need J4 then. So this is a good pickup. And now we could actually choose a rock Lux or like any other legendary at level 9. So we're in a really good spot here. So we're going to fight this combat. We might lose. We're going to fight this combat. Go into the neutrals. Then go 9. I, I don't know why we haven't hit any upgrades. You're going to want to space these out now. Put this homie back where he's supposed to be. This is really bad positioning. I should have moved my Azir over here. Because when Echo's going to stealth because the rogue buff, he's going to come down here and jump right on my Azir. Which is not good for me, clearly. But I guess it just doesn't matter. We're probably better off just going 9 and putting in, like, Heimerdinger. <laughs> Bless me. We're better off just putting in Heimerdinger and some other stuff, right? Maybe next game we'll get the Renekton that we need. Oh, it's probably better to drop down to 5 Shurima. Drop, drop Action, drop Renekton. And then just put more legendaries out onto the board. Which is probably what we're going to end up doing.
Maybe even um, Ari, because I know Ari's really broken that sorcerer. So this Rise ain't playing when it comes to the stunning everything on my board. I would cheat. What do we got to do here today? Consider yourself absolved. Hmm. I don't think we're really going to need like more backline items. Something like this is actually just fine. Even though Locket feels like a just trash item, I think it's the best. I think just having another tank item is good here. Don't spoil me now, game. Give him the action on 6 2. Zeesh. Um. Do something like this. We should have left home years ago. Many volunteers to charge blindly. We can, we can pivot into something else here, here in a second. We know you're not happening. We know you're not happening. No Heimerdinger is really what I'm afraid of not seeing here right now. So you are gone, you are gone. This is kind of a tough one deciding like what the max cap's gonna be here. We really want Heimerdinger, but you're not always guaranteed them, clearly. We can drop Ari. Don't really care about her. Drop an Ari here. I'm getting a Belveth 2 upgraded. The for great science. Looking for one of the last two homies to have the upgrade. Hmm. 
Now, I wonder what we take out. I think we might just sell the Senna and put in the Heimerdinger. The Senna 2 right now is like super strong. They kind of just take off the board. I think the Void guy beats this guy though. bought the shrink module there. What was I doing? The more you know, I guess, right? He Zephyr or Azir last time, so we don't want to do that. We really high rolled on these thieves gloves here though. Cassante find here is really huge. And it actually might be more beneficial for us to get rid of the Scion and go for Shen so we have Bash in here today. But I don't quite know yet. I just usually when I the way I think is just legendaries Moy Beyond, right? Jarima will live on without you. I don't think Goldenator is gonna help us out this this much this late into the game. Double shrink. Um what to run, what to run. Blue buff on Cassante's actually Gigabus something to consider here. Zephyr, I don't think it's going to be worth all that. Cassante having this is like pretty big. So you so he sold his Velkaz to replace the Zephyr to try to Zephyr my Azir here. Sante kicker. Alright. So that was a good game. That was a really good game. Hope you guys were able to learn a little bit from it. I didn't know it was going to be a first place, but making that decision to finally go nine there. And um, going for the max cap board is what got me the first place and not just chilling level eight and just donkey rolling and letting my whole game get away from me. Alright, well, I hope you guys have a